Instead of corn and wheat, Kansas farms might soon be full of hemp. A new program lets Kansas farmers register to grow the crop. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is live after talking to some local people who plan to take advantage of the change. Dan? Hannah, the owners of the CBD Healing Company are already planning on turning Kansas hemp into profit for their company. Sierra Dines and her husband are busy setting up their new warehouse for the CBD Healing Company. Their plan is once Kansas farmers are able to grow hemp, they will buy it and extract the CBD for their products. This is allowing us to bring the extraction to Kansas. So before, it was mostly in Colorado. There's not a manufacturing facility that we know of currently in Kansas. And so we would like to grow that as a business here in Kansas. But in order to get the hemp, they need farmers to grow it like Michael Burbank. Burbank grew up helping his grandpa on his farm. And as a pharmacy tech, he says a lot of people request CBD oil. So he plans to grow hemp himself. Pretty remarkable and pretty historic to be a part of. And cannot wait to pass it down to future generations. But before Burbank and any other Kansas farmer can grow hemp, they have to apply for a permit to do so. Come on, girls. Leroy Russell with the K-State Extension Office says that this new crop could benefit Kansas farmers. Uh, right now, corn and soybeans are, are questionable, and if you, you probably need to add another crop into rotation just to to make a profitable uh, situation for our farmers and ranchers here. And for Dines, she hopes to make these plants grow into big profits. Yeah, we would like to take our product nationwide and we would like to make this the hub of our business. Now, if you are a farmer that would like to grow hemp, you only have a couple days left to register. You do have to register with the Department of Agriculture by March 1st. Live in West Topeka, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. Thanks, Dan. And if you do want to register, we post a link to the application online. You can find that on our website at ksnt.com.